So one of the biggest reasons why sellers are into digital products is because of its potential for passive income. I like to place digital products in the make once, sell forever category because once you make your digital product, you can sell forever without having to make it again. Etsy is one of the biggest online retailers behind Amazon and eBay. A large group of shoppers look for digital products on Etsy every day, either for their own project or businesses. With built-in traffic, there is big potential to find success on Etsy. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a full tutorial on how you can create, size, and also list your digital product on Etsy. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are on canva.com and this is where we are going to be creating our digital products. So first thing we wanna do is go over here to create a design. And we are gonna go with a custom size and we're gonna click on 24 by 36 inches. Um, the reason we're doing uh, 24 by 36 is because we are going to do the two by three ratio so that the customer can scale it down to whatever size that they want it to be. To give you a better example, let me just show you guys this little uh, chart that I made. So with this chart, we're going to do the two by three ratio and we're doing the 24 by 36. All of these are in inches. So with the 24 by 36, they can scale it down to well, whatever size that are within this category. Now, you do not have to only offer a two by three or a three by four. You can offer all five of these sizes if you wanna be. I suggest that you guys always look at your competitors, see what they are doing, see how many they are offering and make your decision, decision based off that. But for this example, we're gonna just uh, go with the two by three ratio. Okay, back to our two by three ratio. Uh, for this example, we're gonna just do a um, coffee theme design. So we're gonna go over here to elements and we're gonna type in coffee and see which element um, we would like to use. Uh, let's just pick uh, this one right here and I want to just scale it down to my liking. Then we're gonna add, let's add some text to it. Well, let's go. With, I'm gonna go to file and click show margins, so I can kind of see like the little outline of it. And we can go up here to text and add a heading. This is how you add a font. And we're gonna say mugs. Now let's find a font that would be really good. Okay, here's a nice font. Coffee script regular. And I'm just going to copy this and let's add something underneath our image as well. And kisses. And let's add some color to our text. We'll just go over here to text color. What Canva does already, they have the photo, the photo color so you can kind of keep your text or whatever it is fit with the theme. This is what I like about Canva. So let's just choose one of these colors so it'll fit with the theme. Let's go, let's choose this dark brown. Go dark brown for the bottom as well. And we're going to go to effects now. And I like to curve my text like around images. So let's go to effects and let's curve this one as well, but back in the negatives. I think that looks good. Let's cover it a little more. That looks good. Um, let's add another effect. Let's add a shadow as well. I'm going to offset that to zero. Same thing to the bottom. The effects, shadow, and you're gonna off that to zero. And let's take down some of the transparency. Let's go to maybe 15. I think 15 is good. 15 on that one as well. Okay, so now uh, you can <clears throat> position and make sure this is centered. Center is uh, grayed out, so that means it's in the center. Centered, and this one as well is centered. So everything seems pretty good already let's just add uh some hearts for the kisses so let's go back to element 
see can we find some hearts that we want to use uh, let's choose this one right here and we can just minimize it uh, that's still a little bit too big let's go a little bit smaller put an angle on it and let's do this one a different color let's go uh, do I like that? Let's go, uh, yeah, dark brown. And let's also change the AN symbol to a lighter brown as well. I think that looks better. So there you have it. You have a 24 by 26 uh, digital print right here. And I think that's perfect. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna select all of those. I'm gonna group them together. So now, they're all just, they're just one image. And let's go over here to mugs and we can say this is a two by three ratio. If you're not creative, um, I always grab inspiration from creativefabrica.com. So with Creative Fabrica, they just have a lot of a lot of different craft and designs and things, inspiration you guys can take from. And a lot of these things you can just use straight off of download. If you see you have like the full print on demand and commercial license for it. So let's type in coffee. And there's like a lot of little coffee designs already that I'm pretty sure uh, you can use or get inspiration from. There's, there's an easier way to do this if you feel as though you can't just go to Canva and uh, come up with a design on your own. There's there's no excuse, guys. No excuse for why you shouldn't be doing digital downloads right now, especially when it's so such a high demand for them. Okay, so let's X out of this. I will have a link down in the description box below if you guys want to try Creative Fabrica because I use it a lot as well. Now that we have the two by three ratio at the largest size, only thing we have to do now is download. So we can go over here to share. And let me move my big head out of the way real quick. And we're going to go to download. Now, you can download this as a JPEG. That is best for sharing. But since this is a digital print, people are going to be printing this out. I like to print as a uh, PDF. As you see, it's best for printing. And I always print with the CMYK. That's your cyan, magenta, uh, yellow, and black. RGB, the red, green, blue, those are basically the colors that your screens see to you. Your screen see, so like your phone screen, monitor, and things like that. But the CMYK is definitely best for printing because those are the ink cartridges that are inside of the, uh, inside of the printer. So let's go ahead and click CMYK and we can go ahead and download this. So with that one download, the 2.3, two by three ratio, the customer now have access to six different um, sizes that they can scale to, five different sizes they can scale down from. Uh, if you guys wanna offer more ratio sizes, you can. For example, if you want to throw in a four by five ratio, then you will start your design 16 by 20. Uh, so let's go back and use this as an, another example. So over here, you see resize. It does has the crown right here, so you will need uh, Canva Pro. But even if you don't have Canva Pro, you would just have to go back out of Canva, customize your design size, and do the 16 by 20 inch. If not, if you have Canva Pro, you can just simply click resize. Um, I already used this 16 by 20 inch and resize it, and bam, now you have a 16 by uh, 20 inch. And you can, um, after this, you can like scale it and customize it to whatever, to your liking. But after that, now you just do the same process and just download it as a PDF. Just that simple. If you wanna do all the other ratios, same thing. You're gonna start off at the largest. You can start off always at the largest so they can scale it down onto whatever size that, uh, whatever size that fits them. Now that we have um that out the way we're going to also offer them a jpeg so we are going to um, resize this to 8 by 10 inch because i always offer 8 by 10 um a j 8 by 10 jpeg so i would scale this 
to eight by 10. Uh, this already looks, uh, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and download, hit downloads, change this PNG into a JPEG, which is best for sharing. And Canva, the furthest that can go is uh, 100. All your competitors are going to offer 300 DPI. So you must find a way to get your JPEG to 300 DPI. So I'm gonna show you a little workaround around that. So what you're gonna do, instead of downloading it as a JPEG, you wanna download it as a PDF print again. So we're gonna download the eight by 10. That's downloaded. And we're just gonna go to this website, pdf2jpeg.net, which is uh, what I use. And we're going to uh, find the file that we just got. I didn't rename it, but it's ratio two. This is the eight by 10. So we're gonna upload this. And you wanna go to excellent 300 DPI. And then now you're gonna convert this to a JPEG. Once it's converted, you're gonna hit download, have a little pop-up window, exit out of that. So let's just go over here to downloads real quick. We're going to double click it. I'm gonna press Command I to look at the properties of it. And in the properties, you will see image DPI 300 pixels. Okay, so now we are ready to get things ready for uh, Etsy and for the customer. Okay, wait, I'm so sorry, y'all. I forgot about the mock-ups. We can't go to Etsy yet. We gotta have some good mock-ups. So what better place to get mock-ups from than placeit.net? I love this website, super convenient, easy to use. All we're gonna do here is just type in um, wild art. Here we go, wild art mock-up. We're just gonna find us maybe like just three mock-ups real quick that we can use. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video, please hit that like, uh, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I think I am at 600 subscribers right now, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the year ends. So please, you guys just make my day. Please sub up and like, share all that. Just show your boy some love. So uh, as a great, um, as I'm grazing through, I see this photo right here. I just want to use. Definitely want to add this to. Uh, to Etsy, I think this would be a nice up close mock-up. Now we're gonna do is just uh, insert our image here. Let's see, upload from device. There's our mug, 300 DPI. Go ahead and upload this. Moving my big head out the way once again. Why do I keep showing things on that side of the screen? All right, anyways, let's go ahead and crop this to how we want it to look in the, um, in our mock-up. And that looks, very nice. All we have to do is um, we're going to download this one. Let's see, is it going to download? There we go. Processing, processing your mock up. And I'm going to uh, choose like maybe, maybe like two or three more of these. And then we're going to, I'm going to hit you guys back at Canva. I don't want to bore you guys with this process. So uh, I'll be right back. Etsy thumbnails are 2000 by 2000 pixels. That is the minimum requirement i want to say so let's go ahead and create a design custom size as we're going to do 2000 by 2000 in pixels and now with those thumbnails those thumbnails those mock-ups that we just downloaded we're going to go ahead and we want to upload those um upload those over here okay so now we have all our mock-ups uploaded to canva and we are going to resize this so we can fit the 2000 by 2000 picture. We're gonna do this for each one. All of them fit the template now. So what I like to do, I like to click and I like to edit the image. And I like to use the blur effect and I usually would do like negative 10 just so you can see like the image a little bit more clear so this is it's not blurry it's still you can still read it but um oh where, where are we okay but when you um go negative 10 you kind of see the words and the letters like you see you see those better in my opinion so we'll go negative 10 there and we'll do the same one for each each design 
from this point, you can go ahead and download it if you want to and upload it to Etsy. But what I like to do, I like to just kind of grab something. Let's go to an element. Let's just let's just say a shape. Um, this right here, this would be fine. I like to grab a shape and uh, make sure that the customers know that this is a digital download. So we're gonna just have a text. Make sure this text is uh, digital download. Put that in there. Do this line spacing down some. Let's change the font. That work. And let's just let's just group these together and um, make it kind of transparent. Let's go transparent to. I think 70 will work. So they know that this is a digital download. So we're going to command C, we're going to copy that and command V, paste it on each of these. Just so they would know that this is a digital download. And now it's, it's okay to go ahead and download these and then we're going to upload these on Etsy. So let's go to Etsy so now it's time for us to finally create our listing I think we have everything ready to go so let's go ahead and start by adding our photos so we can go ahead and click here <clears throat> and the mock-ups that we did the very nice mock-ups that we got from placey.net go ahead and uh, shift down and go ahead and select all of these let those load up um, also, what I like to do, I like to tell the customers what they are going to receive um, just in case they're, you know, they're confused and don't know. So I have this right here is what I also insert um, into like one of the photos. Let them know that they will be in a one high quality PDF file this is going to be the two by three ratio. Um, uh, the 300 DPI 8x10 JPEG. Let them know again that this is just a digital purchase and no physical items will be shipped. Uh, just in case they think the mock-ups like those frames and things that you know, are going to be shipped to them I just make sure they know and I also let them know that the files uh, They can edit they can't edit the files as well. So let me go ahead and upload that as well And that's it for our pictures. Oh wait, wait, let's go ahead and find us a good Mock-up let's go with this one. That's a good thumbnail right there yeah, it's a very good thumbnail. So they saved that. And now everything else, we're just going to go ahead and fill out. Okay, moving along. Next, we have our video. Um, Place It also has videos, um, video mockups that you guys can use on there uh, as well. So I'll let you guys do that. Um, listing details, as um, far as the title, make sure you do like some good keyword research so you can get ranked in search. Use things like uh, Sales Samurai or E rank those are very popular uh, websites that you guys can use to fizzle in those nice keywords and titles so you can get optimized but for this example let's just say um, let's just say coffee print um, about this listing who made it I did it's a finished product when do we make it in the category is going to be um, digital prints primary secondary color uh, i'm not gonna really put anything for that i guess i could do a brown orientation vertical and this is unframed home style and occasion don't have to worry about that it's not a holiday the rooms this could be in this i mean this could be in the uh this could be in the kitchen uh, this could be in somebody's office and they're doing work love drinking coffee in the office so subject i to do that uh i'm gonna just do manual and again this type this is a digital um now for the description uh, i'm just gonna give you guys just a template of what i use so i'm gonna 
I already have a description for it, my digital shop. So I'm just going to just summarize basically what I put here if it allows me to pay. So basically I tell them like what's included in their, um, in their download, they can the, um, high quality PDF and, uh, three, uh, 300, 300 DPI JPEG. <clears throat> then I go into detail it is the two point two by three ratio, which includes the sizes, which is the sizes of that chart. And then also the 300 DPI is eight by 10. And I tell them this is an instant download, no shipping, no waiting and all that stuff and no refunds or exchanges may be provided. So, uh, but that's just an example that I just wanted to show you guys that you can use. You can say in your description, just make sure it's, you know, very detailed and letting the just being a hundred percent transparent with the customer, let them know like what they're going to get with this. Oh, have your tags as well. Make sure you have like good tags. Um, so coffee, digital print mugs and kisses, um, uh, wall art, um, just, Make sure you you know optimizing your tags. That that's gonna go along with your keywords. Uh, your title should be your long tail keywords, and then your tag is gonna be like your short tail keywords. Price, quantity for your quantity. Let's just say nine ninety nine. So that you don't want to put you don't want to leave it at one because one person orders it and then you're gonna have to you know redo like your listing. So. And let's just say for this one, this is going to be uh, $3. And when it comes down to the digital files, this is where you're going to upload your file. So I have that saved as mug files right here. And I'm just going to select both of these. And I'm going to upload it. And once you have that uploaded, now you can go ahead and come down here and publish. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and learned something from it. I tried to make it as short as possible, but I just couldn't because I just really needed you guys to fully understand digital downloads because the ratio sizes portion can become pretty tricky. If you guys are interested in Etsy, I suggest you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you are interested in seeing some tips and tricks, I suggest you uh, watch this next video. With all that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.